I'm Claudia Little from Ashland, Oregon. Awesome. Tell us a little about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a retired nurse practitioner. I uh, was an OBGYN. I started working for a biotech company that uh, developed a, a designer drug, monoclonal antibody, for treating rheumatoid arthritis and Crohn's disease. And a lot of the patients that I worked with in support groups were talking about their use of cannabis for pain management and um, just general well-being. So when I retired completely, I just really delved into the, uh, the research on cannabis and was uh, amazed at uh, the, all the research that is out there and available about its anti-inflammatory properties, its neuroprotective properties, and even anti-tumor properties. And these have been known for quite a long time. Um, I also, at about the time that I retired, got a lot of um, uh, diagnosis of uh, osteoarthritis that was extremely painful and I was getting injections in my shoulders. And uh, I started using it myself for pain management, but very quickly realized that I was doing myself quite a good favor because of all the anti-inflammatory properties as well. Um, then there have been other occasions through my own experience as an aging uh, woman that um, that I've been able to use cannabis to help with. And one thing that's been amazing, it's not usually on the, uh, the, the approved conditions, is for better sleep uh, management. Uh, I have a, a hard time on occasion uh, waking up in the middle of the night not being able to go back to sleep for pain issues as well as just plain insomnia. And just um, one or two um, puffs of cannabis usually um, will always uh, gives me the rest of the night's sleep and I wake up refreshed and feeling good. And, uh, and knowing about the, the neuroprotective aspect of cannabis too, I feel like I'm doing myself a favor when it comes to just uh, protection against uh, Alzheimer's. These kinds of things are um, are really not talked about much, uh, and not usually on the list of uh, uh, indications for cannabis on the state level. So uh, I think it, it, you know getting the word out to patients, um, and to especially to, to older people as they um, they come up against pain problems with um, arthritis and with insomnia and with um, even uh, all the known kinds of problems with um, lots of appetite and uh, nausea from chemotherapeutic therapy. Um, a lot of people are, are just reticent and afraid to ask their doctor about it. And I think my role as a, as a nurse practitioner, I'm really encouraging the patients that, that I, um, I, the people I know that are patients, to, um, to ask their doctors about cannabis and educate them because most doctors really don't know. It's been kind of a, an avocation that I've had is to um, talk to other professionals, pharmacists, um, doctors um, that really don't know the science of cannabis and how the founding can be and how the patients. That's excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.